How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be talking about the whole Call of Duty Infinite Warfare with Call of Duty 4 Remaster situation that's going on right now and give my thoughts on it and I want to hear your guys' thoughts on it too because I think it's kind of cool but kind of weird at the same time and also kind of dumb at the same time. So let's get into it. So if you don't know already, let me catch you up. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is supposedly the next Call of Duty, the one that's coming out this year in 2016. Developed by Infinity Ward, it kind of makes sense, right? Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. But it's also kind of dumb because it's like, one, it's another Warfare game, which, you know, whatever, right? But Infinite, what could that mean, you know? People are saying space with the whole rumors of Call of Duty going to space with Infinite Warfare, you know, it's just because it's infinity ward that's making the game so it's weird we still don't know we still kind of don't know what the game's going to be on i mean my guess i'm thinking it's space space warfare you know infinite warfare space is pretty big space i think is infinite you know so you know what i mean right like it, it go it works like that i guess but the big thing that's coming up is that some recent box art promotional artwork or whatever was leaked and it showed a Call of Duty Infinite Warfare with a soldier on it. And the soldier looked like he was wearing some sort of helmet. Or not, he wasn't wearing the helmet, but he was holding some sort of helmet. And it looked pretty futuristic. So my my fears or my thoughts or whatever could be true there. That could be in space. But a big thing was on the box, it said includes Modern Warfare or includes remaster Modern Warfare. And this was a big thing that people were talking about. And there's another thing that's going to be pretty important here in a second. And this thing is that someone, some I believe big YouTuber or whatever, a couple years ago, back in like, I think the date was like 2014, I'll try to pull up the tweet here so you can see it, said, I will shit my pants, or something like this, he, this I'm paraphrasing, I will shit my pants if Call of Duty 4 is remastered on PS4. Now, Infinity Ward tweeted back at him with some emojis of shit and pants, I don't, I don't know why. I really, I don't understand. Anyway, um, tweeted back at him. Now, the significance of this is, one, you know, this company went that far back to 2014. I think it was, like, end of 2014, so the tweet is at least a year and a half old. You, and they're going that far back to get that tweet, replying to it. You know, I think... Call of Duty 4 is being remastered. I I'm pretty much everyone's assuming that now, and it's kind of like a no shit moment, right? But like, I'm pretty sure Call of Duty 4 is being remastered, and it's going to be released with the new Call of Duty game. Now, this is where I'm worried because I everyone's excited for it. Now, believe me, I would love to replay Call of Duty 4, but one thing I'm worried is one, the multiplayer, right? You have Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Right, that's, I'm assuming that's going to have a campaign, some sort of zombies co-op sort of thing. I think they'll just maybe do Extinction or whatever it's called from Ghosts and just move it to uh, to Infinite Warfare and Multiplayer, right? So then you're also going to have, which I'm assuming is not like on the disc, it's maybe like a download code or something, a code or whatever to Modern Warfare, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, right? That has its own campaign. And that has its own multiplayer, right? Now, is that going to lose people from the like lose people from the multiplayer of Infinite Warfare? You know, because I'm pretty sure unless Infinite Warfare is really really good, no one wants to play it compared to Call of Duty 4, except say maybe the younger generation, if you want to say that. Anyway, um, the big thing that I have is that this is Activision in 2016. You know, this is not 2007 Activision. And what's really worrying is, is that even if it's true Call of Duty 4, you know, even if, let's say they, they don't mess with anything, right? They don't change the way the game is. They don't add any new maps. It's literally just a remaster. So the textures are upgraded, you know, animations are maybe upgraded, and it runs on the new consoles, right? The big thing that I have, the big issue that I have is that this is Activision now right what are they gonna do to call of duty 4 that will ruin it and it, 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 i think it's a real fear because for example call of duty 4 had one map pack and that was i think 800 or 400 microsoft points at the time which was like five ten dollars right nowadays 
map packs are they're what fifteen dollars and yes i know you get the season pass but map packs are fifteen dollars and you have all these microtransactions now you know of camos and stuff like that i don't want to be playing the new call of duty 4 well you know in quotes new call of duty 4 when you could buy camos and stuff like that i just feel like that's gonna ruin it and i just i don't know like i have this fear that like activision will ruin the, the call of duty 4 they'll just make it bad they'll like break something or you know they'll have it just won't be right that's what i'm saying is you know i enjoyed the campaign and everything that was fun and the multiplayer was amazing it was so good and it's still good to this day. I can hop on PC right now, get into a server, and enjoy that Call of Duty 4 experience. But I'm worried that in this installment, that it could be bad. The remaster can have, say, map packs or microtransactions or, you know, supply drops, you know. I don't want that. I don't want that. That's not the Call of Duty 4 I remember. And unfortunately, I believe Activision will do something like that. I just, I feel like they have to, you know. I, I mean... I don't know, and also, I kind of think it's kind of lazy. Not lazy, but, you know, it's really just dumb, to be honest. Like, does Infinity Ward really think that their multiplayer, that their game, that Infinite Warfare will do poorly, so they're releasing another game as well to say, like, hey, you know, this might not be that good, but at least you have this, too, you know? I don't know, I just think it's really dumb, to be honest. Like, I mean... I really want it to be good. You guys, that's one thing I, I want you guys to understand is I have a video where I talk about Call of Duty 4 and it's a, I think it's a throwback Thursday or whatever. How I really liked that game. Call of Duty 4 was my first Call of Duty and I loved it. I really did. It's my favorite Call of Duty still. You know, I want, I know it's good. I, I loved it. But at the same time, I don't want it to be ruined. You know, it's kind of like... It's kind of like an old movie, you know? It's an old movie that maybe is remastered or with new audio or or new whatever, right? And it's just ruined. It's like Ghostbusters, for example. You know, like the older Ghostbusters were good, and now this new one doesn't look as good. It's got the same name, you know? Same sort of sort of premise, you know? It's just... it. I just... I'm worried. That's it. I'm, I'm speechless because I'm so worried that Activision will fuck it up. And that's it, really, because I don't want Activision to fuck it up. I want a good Call of Duty 4. And I don't know. I'm just worried. I'm just worried that it's going to be bad and it's going to be ruined. You know, there's going to be guns missing or, you know, perks missing. You know, the best case scenario for me, the best thing that they could do, in my opinion, is fix some of the bugs. There were bugs. There were bugs. That's fine, right? Fix some of the bugs. Uh, upgrade the graphics, obviously, you know, obviously PC version is good, you know, so on and so forth, right? Uh, no bugs, upgrade, updated graphics, you know, um, really, that's it, that's all I want. It was the perfect game, that's, that's really it, there's just, fix the bugs, and increase the graphics, and that's it, that's all it needs. And anything, last thing maybe would be is like... I kind of want to say, like, remove Marty Dom and Juggernaut and Eavesdropper, like, those perks, but, like, those were those were the perks of Call of Duty 4, you know? You can't just take them out because now we think it's bad because that was what the game had back then. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? This is a long, long commentary, and I just want to ramble because this is important to me. I don't want Call of Duty 4. I don't want kids to see Call of Duty 4 and see it's, like, shit or garbage or whatever, right? Because back then, it used to be so good. And then, in, in the end, though, I mean, it's just a game. It's just a game. It really doesn't matter in the end. There's so many other games to play. It just sucks. And I'm worried that Activision will fuck it up. And Call of Duty 4 will be ruined. You know, we, we put it on this pedestal as one of the best Call of Duties. And I don't want it to be ruined. That's the thing. Is I want it to be good. And I want it to be remembered as a great game. But, like I said, and I'm repeating myself now. It's just a game. It really doesn't matter. That's just my thoughts on it. Let me know your guys' thoughts, because this was a long video. Like I already said, I'm already repeating myself. And, uh, you know, what do you think about Infinite Warfare? What do you think about the Call of Duty 4 remaster? And all that other stuff. Don't forget to like, subscribe, you know, all that stuff, guys. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time.